Listen, Captain Colby here with a fantastic guest today. Listen, y'all in for a treat. I'm here to tell y'all. Got Mr. Rusty Matoir here with me. Yes, sir. Listen, if you don't know Rusty, he's one of the up-and-coming Zodico artists that's out here right now. He's probably the most hottest dude on the planet playing Zodico. So if you don't know him, you're going to know him now. All right? And look, not only can the man play the accordion and do air condition work, yeah. Man can cook too, right? I wouldn't have him on my show if he couldn't. Cook. I'll, I'll try. I, I do my best. <laughs> hey, that's right. Hey, we're gonna listen. We're gonna show him what's up. Oh yeah. All right, listen. We got a special show lined up today. It's a little different than what most people think. Just in the way we say it, right? Especially down here in South Louisiana, we say different things. Uh, how we describe everything, right? So what we have today is called a sauce pack. Russ, I'm gonna let you explain to him what a sauce pack is a little bit right So, here, right? a sauce pack is really, we're cooking a sauce pecan. It's the the, tech, the real term for it. Okay. Um, but I bought these sauce packs from Cootie's Grocery in Eunice, Louisiana. So, you know, a nice neighborhood family grocery store. Hey, listen, I tell people all the time, man, some of these small towns have some of the best foods. Oh, yeah. And listen, it's small. Local people that's out here making things happen like that. I like that little small business. It's not the big conglomerate. Oh yeah. The Walmarts and everything else. It's it's, it's guys like me and you trying to make a living. Right. I like that. Family grocery store in Eunice. I think right. they just got it on the building. They they've been open since 1947. You know. And you got to be doing something right. Oh there. yeah. They they got great product, but it's even even better people. You know. I like. That. Um, family run. It's just you walk in and you feel good. All right. And they got some the best sauce packs in my opinion. Um, and they just so happen to have this one, which is a rusty special. Exactly, they, right? They, That's they, what I'm talking about. I'll tweak the, the recipe a little bit and just for put, you, put my name on it. I like yeah, that. That's important, man. I like that. All right, so let them know what's in that sauce pack right there. All right, so in this one, in the rusty special, you got uh, some yard birds, some chicken. Okay. Um, you got turkey necks. You got their homemade smoked sausage. And uh, you have beef short ribs. And I believe maybe some turkey wings in there. Okay. Uh, and what I usually do when I'm cooking a sauce pack, I'm usually cooking for the family, so at least 15 to 20 people. That's how we do it here. Listen, y'all yeah. already know, if y'all watch Captain Kobe, y'all know we cook it for our army when we cook it over oh, here. Yeah. So we got 15, 20 people that we feed all the time and this fits right in when we do it. That's, that's the only way I know how to cook. It's <laughs> be. That's funny, huh? but listen, you can eat three or four days on oh, that yeah. much. That's right. Oh yeah, and you won't get tired of it. That's right. So we got the sauce packs right here. Um, also got, Foreman's smoked turkey necks, Foreman's smoked turkey wings. I and, like the Foreman's, you like the Oh man, Foreman's got the best turkey necks, turkey wings, um, you know, just really good stuff that you just go get off the shelf. They from around your way too? They from around my way. I think they based out of Dry Creek now. Okay. Um, but talking with the, with the, um, I think it's the son that, that's running the show now. I think they originally from Iowa, the Little Blue Settlement, uh, but they, they're really running the show out of Dry Creek now. Okay. So uh, we got that, and we got market basket, uh, smoked green onion, garlic sausage, and this is the, the market basket on Nelson Road. I don't know what it is about it, <laughs> but the sausage and the boudin on Nelson Road market basket in Lake Charles. Different from anywhere else. Oh, yeah, top notch. Different butchers, man. That's how it is. Must be. No Must doubt. Be. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. And, of course, we need onions, bell peppers, the normal trinity that we have. We got yeah. some garlic. I see you got some jalapenos in there. Yeah, I like to uh, add jalapenos. Uh, I usually do fresh uh, cayenne that we grow, you know, in the backyard. I put cayenne peppers in with it, and also Tabasco peppers. But my pepper's not ready yet, so right, I, there I you go. Bring right. no peppers. That's all right. <laughs> well, all right. Now you see what we got. Um, I'm gonna be a sous chef today. I'm gonna let you handle the pot and the spoon, right? Hey, that's cool, man. Nothing wrong that's with that. Cool. That's why you. That's why you here, baby. Show me what we got. And uh, I'll be the sous chef. I do all the cutting. 
And uh, I think the best thing that goes with this is uh, a little smothered cabbage. Sounds good to me, bro. Can't go so wrong. So I'll make a little smothered cabbage while Russ is cooking this down. So we're going to tag team just today. So y'all stay tuned. We're about to get busy, right? I think y'all going to enjoy the hell out of this show. What you think? I, I believe so. And, and I got to add, if you don't mind. Come on. My song, Go On The Cool T, Got To Give Me A Soft Pack. It's about this right here. That's right. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, hopefully... When it's all said and done, that's the song that's going that's going to intro the show. Oh yeah, and we're gonna have it all through there, so y'all gonna know exactly what we're talking about when it's all said and done. Yes, sir. All right, let's get to cooking, bro. Okay. Rest. What's up, bro? Almost forgot the most important thing. What's that? Captain Cool, it's Cajun seasoning, bro. Gotta have it, bro. Gotta have it, man. Listen, I'm I'm turn, do that I know. I turned my ball <laughs> onto that a while back. He absolutely loves it, right? Oh, yeah, that man, that seasoning good. Man. Listen, I'm telling y'all, if y'all ain't got it, y'all missing out. Get with it, right, brother? Now that we got Captain Cobas on the set, we're ready to roll. Let's get started. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Let them know what you're doing, right? Spreading that all around the pot. I like to go for sure along the whole bottom of the pot. And then uh, a little bit going towards the top of the pot because I feel like you can still make a gravy. Oh, you're on that edge, right? On the edge. Sure, you, you, you yeah. still brown real well on that edge. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. And that, it usually makes some good little sticky stuff that you can work down into the pot so you got you got more surface area hey man I, I really like the coconut oil it really it, it takes the heat well it oh, cooks yeah. well browns well man honestly that's the ticket for me yeah. while you're getting that going i'm gonna get these onions and bell peppers rolled up for you i'm gonna yeah. let you have it man. that'll work man all right so after the the oil is hot you know warm, warm enough to start browning i like to add the sauce packs in but what I'm gonna do, you know, keep these bags because they got a lot of that good seasoning and and you know some of these other little pieces. Oh, that you might got that flavor in there. You got to get oh, that yeah. flavor out of there. You got to keep the bag for when you do add your water, add it in the bag and then add that water in there. So that's every, how I do. every bit of flavor and seasoning we can get, we get. Oh yeah. So it's smelling good here in a little bit. That's it. Dude. See all that in there? Keep these bags fill it up with water. Pour it back in there. Nothing but flavor. I like. It. And also what I do, I cook the sauce packs first, get them good and brown and everything. And then uh, I think you said that everybody do it different. Sure. But this is the way I do it. So I'll cook my sauce packs first, brown them up. I'll take them out. Then I'll put my turkey pieces in there, put them in there, brown them up, get them good and, and gravy ready. That's it? Take them out. Then I'll put all my vegetables and the sauces together. That's pretty much how I do it. And we brown all that together. Then we put everything back in there. And all that flavor comes together as one, baby. You gotta let that cook down. That's right. That's it. Good thing we got a milk pot. Oh, yeah. Put this on the side. I say, with it. Get your spoon and you just start working. Let it sit in one spot for in the pot for a little bit. Kind of let it start sticking. Move it around to another spot. So listen, I want you to show because uh, people who learn to try to cook Asian food, mm -hmm. when we say brown in the food, a lot of times they think just make the meat brown, right? Yeah, no, you gotta let it stick to the pot. You gotta have a little sear on that food. And then what happens is that that seasoning comes on there, starts sticking to that bottom. That's really what makes you gravy, right? Oh yeah, most definitely. The, the, uh, what they call it, the green beans? The green beans, yeah. man, you get them green beans in that pot. That's what makes you gravy, that's you exactly it. right. I like it. Yep. We're just gonna keep working it. Uh, let's go get some water, just in case. I got you some water line almost, almost to the point where it's almost at the edge of burning, but you can't burn it. That's right. You, you might have to be close. And that's little, why that's what he means by working that pot, right? So you want to get it, and when it starts sticking, if that one little spot burns in there, then, you, then your gravy's gonna taste burnt. So you gotta keep moving, and you, what happens is you will show you. Put a little water on that hot spot, break it down, get rid of the hot spot, and you move it. But not too much water. You don't want to. No, no, no. Just a little bit at a time. Yeah. Just a little yeah. bit at a time to work. Rusty. Yes, sir. How many onions you want, baby? Man, for, for two sauce packs, I do at the minimum about four. Four? So right. four or five. Well, we know we got four to do. You can't go wrong with too many onions. I like that it thickens that gravy but makes it good, too. All right. All right. Sticking a little bit. I added a little water every now and then to just keep it from burning. 
but uh, we got the meat sticking again. So usually in the middle of it where that flame is, that's where it's gonna be sticking. So you just throughout the, the process, just add a little bit. You'll hear it kind of balling up. Just add a little bit just to keep it from burning, basically. Um, you're not gonna really make your gravy yet by adding a whole lot of water. Just gonna add a little bit. You can feel that meat kind of sticking, so that water will break that up. Get them uh, greenies off of the bottom of the pot and kind of roll them around. How you doing over there, Cap? I'm still cutting, baby. Still cutting. Still making things happen over here. Oh man, it's looking good, bro. That's right. right. You, as long as you're not ready, you're not, I'm not holding you up. No, no, man. You you doing the part that I don't like doing. No, and nobody likes like this part, it. right? That's right. But because this is what makes it happen. You gotta have fresh onions, fresh peppers. You know, always that. fresh. A lot of people buy the frozen. That's okay if you want. Sometimes I cheat that way and do that. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. But uh, for the most part, the fresh is always the best. Oh yeah, and that's most the promise. Best. Most best. So, since we got so much meat, we put it in the pot. Yep. A lot of times you gotta do it in sections. That's exactly right. So I'm gonna take what we brown the sauce pack with. Take the sauce pack out, and next we're gonna do the turkey necks and the turkey wing. Right. And you see, so, it's kind of already making a great deal. That's it, baby. So look right here, I wanna show you something. I'm right. gonna pull this out. Can you see this part right here? I want people to understand something. When we say browning, what we mean by browning, it's on the other side of that, you got that sear on there. See oh, the see, sear, how you get that sear? Yeah. You need to sear that meat, and what happens when you sear this meat, it sears in that pot, it kind of grabs that pot. That's kind of why we keep adding that water to keep that out of there. Yeah. That's what actually makes you gravy. Gotta work so it, if you're man. wondering, if, you, if you're browning your meat, and you don't got no little bit of sear on it, Gotta keep just keep browning a little bit longer, right? Yep. Make sure you're doing that right, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you look good. Standard? You look good, man. I like it. <laughs> you look good. All right, it's gonna be good. We got a lot of meat to brown. We got a gravy already. Oh yeah, bro. We got a gravy already. It ain't just uh, this ain't no meal you can just put on and sit down. Yeah, come get a close up in here. Gotta stand over and. Work yeah, we don't get fall built. But see this right here? That gravy's already happening. It's already starting to make. Yep. I like it, it's good. So right now I'm adding these foaming smoked turkey wings and foaming smoked turkey neck. And uh, it just adds to it, it adds flavor and uh, really adds to the quantity that you're feeding a lot of people. So the same thing, you're gonna put it in, you're gonna brown it, and you're gonna work that pot just like that right there. Put that in there on the side. Let me ask you a question there, Russ. What you got? Are you, uh, put your onions in your meat and brown it all together, or you take everything out and just brown your onions? Me, personally, I take everything out. So, I believe my mom, my mom cooks everything together. Unless it's a whole lot of meat. Right, then you, you gotta, gotta do it in sections, out. right? But sometimes if I'm cooking a smaller pot, I'll put everything together because you got the room. It's right. really about having the room to, to be able to do all that. Move yeah, it depends what I cook too. Like if I do a chicken in the gravy, I take mm -hmm. it out because the more you stir that stuff up, everything kind of breaks up. Right. So depending what you what you do, a beef gravy, I'm trying to put them all together. Yeah. It all depends on the pork sometimes. And uh, the on it wouldn't hurt, like if you're cooking turkey next, because they take a little longer to cook. It wouldn't hurt if you keep it in there. Yeah, right, and cook it all together, yeah. that's right. Keep that heat on it, keep that meat tenderizing and to where it's gonna come So you can't do both ways. You can put your onions in there. I wouldn't say right now, but once you, what you saw a while ago when, when the sauce pack was all cooked up, ready to go, you cook that all down, you get it all, throw your onions in there, and all that stuff kind of actually helps cook those onions down too. That's what kind of gives it that super thick gravy oh, by yeah. having all those onions and bell peppers in there. I like it, I like a lot of onions and bell peppers. Stir that up. These turkey pieces brown. Looking good, bro. Working it slow, man. That's it. Mm. When you want that sausage, man, I'm, I'm slipping right here. Oh, uh, no, no. I, I usually put the sausage with the, uh, with the onions. onions and onions. Okay, yeah. I, I usually do. I just do my sausage first, so it don't really matter. Oh. Man. <laughs> but like you said earlier, man, everybody got their way, right? Everybody yeah. does their way. You come yeah. out with the same product. That's it, right? Oh, it all comes out good. That's right. It all comes out good together, man. Oh, and your right. food good at night. That's what people like. Ain't nobody critiquing you on how you prepare, only how you eat at the end. That's it.
And I know y'all can't smell it, but it's smelling good. Mm -hmm. and we need that smell of vision is what we really need, right? Oh, yeah. I'm talking about. Let me get these socks to cover for us to get mad at me. Man. <laughs> uh, we've been talking, and I, I've been slipping. I got all my vegetables covered, but man, get the socks to cover for you. But how you want that cover? Man, I usually do, you know, thin, full thing. You want half, you want what you want. Like a little, maybe quarter inch piece. How you usually cook? I usually cut it in half because it'll get a little bit of bite on everything. But whatever you want. What, man, whatever. You, it's your show, man. I, I want, I want you to, I want you to. Do All right, we'll cut them like this. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Right. I just run them like this, and then I. Perfect. See that? Perfect. That's how we do it over here, baby. Compromise. You heard me? See what happens when you make videos with the musicians? They get called every day for some bookings right here. You got you, you out here handling up on them cooking for them. It's on the spot. We good. I got it. So, Cam, we got these turkey parts brown. They're good and everything. Yes, sir. Um, you know, turkey necks and turkey wings, they take a little, little longer to get tender yeah, and all that kind of stuff. So, we're going to put the onions and everything in with it. Oh, and we're going to switch it up right now? Yeah. You like it, Mom? Yeah, you're going to do it up on That's it. All right, all in with. All right, bro. I like it. You gotta put some elbow grease to turn. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You got the muscles, man. I need that out. Gotta give me a sauce back. Give me a sauce back. Give me a sauce back. Going to Gucci. Now we're gonna be working. Now you got it. Oh yeah. It's gonna help brown them onions fast with that too, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Still get that the flavor from the meat and all that. So a lot of times, what a lot of people don't know, since sometimes we don't always do this, uh, when I brown my onions, you know, especially for the show, I kind of take them out, brown them, and then put everything back. Mm -hmm. But when, when, what people don't realize is something when you got this stuff sticking on the bottom, and you get them green these kind of stuff, mm -hmm. when you put them onions and them onions sweat out that water, they're going to break all that stuff off for you. That's why you kind of constantly it. keep stirring, and it makes that gravy super thick. I make this gravy really thick. I think oh, it's gonna yeah. look fantastic. I, I I like to swear them together a lot too. I think it makes fantastic. Oh, yeah. gravy. E either way, good call. I'm gonna say good call. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong them. either way. Yeah, good job. Um, but it's gonna be good. I can't wait to eat it. Me too. Man. <laughs> you can't cook fast enough for me. Yeah, yeah. bro, smelling pretty good in here, man. It is, bro. Uh -huh. It is. It's coming together. We still still browning everything down. You know, we got the onions and bell peppers and jalapenos and garlic and all that. In with these turkey pieces, so we're just gonna keep working this pot, keep working it down, and eventually we're gonna put all this back in here. And we're gonna put our water in and start working on really thickening the right. Meat. So, listen, I want everybody to get a, just a general idea on this. Come on here and get a close up if you can. Be careful of the so, listen, all the onions and bell peppers have browned out, they cooked down. If you can see real good right here, maybe a little bit, you can see how they started to cook down, and even the sausage is kind of starting to break up a little bit. So, that's a we we've been browning this for about an hour yeah all right so if you think you're going to get over here and cook this meat in about 10 minutes it's not happening you're not going to get the flavors and all the things that you want this is a lot of meat so it takes a long time to do that so we're looking what you think we got right there that's probably about 10 12 pounds of meat oh yeah at least, at least. right so least. to cook that it's going to take some time to do mm -hmm. that this is a, this a weekend dish right here. Absolutely. It ain't no... It's a slow and low. Yeah. Drink a few while you're doing that. That's right. It. Watch a game. Watch a game. Like that. That's right. Eat yeah. at the end. I like it. Yep. Yeah. Right, baby. I'll let you get back at it. All right. So listen, I'm going to show everybody something right quick, Russ. I want you to listen up right quick. You hear this? No stuff sticking on the pot. You hear this? Yep, it's sticking right there. It's sticking on the pot right there. That's another way for you to know that. You're not getting that. Let's put us a little water over there. I like that. I just want y'all to know that what it looks like and sounds like. You can even do it by sound if you need. Now you hit. You got it back down to the, See that? Scratching that down. Scratching that down, making that pot. Oh, that's All right. Wow. Well, uh, Russ is getting that going right here. Let me get this uh, All right. smutty cabbage going on, rolling, cooking. We'll cut everything up fine right quick like. Mm -hmm. So just in case you want to know how we cut things. Like this. Like that. That's simple. About this big a flake. That way when you cook it down, it's a little bit easier to cook down than you cook a whole leaf like this. It's a little bit easier to maneuver through your pot. That's how I put it. 
All right? All right, we're going to get this prepped up. Back with y'all in just a second. Well, man, I think we got this browned up pretty good. You ready? Yeah, I think we're going to add the rest of the sauce back, back in. Hold on before you do that. Let's have everybody get out. And look at this right here. So listen, when you're browning your meat, this is what you should look like. Okay? You got that sear all right here, all right there, all in these, especially with these turkey necks, because they do take a long time to cook, yeah. right? You got to cook them long, you got to boil them out good. And look at the thickness of just this right here. Now, our sauce is breaking up a little bit in there, but look at that. That's awesome. That's gonna be fantastic. Right All right. We're gonna get that sauce pack back acclimated with the uh everything else, get all that good. All that good gravy. Yeah, we're gonna put some gravy. We're gonna take that off for sure. Ready for a little water? Yeah. Let's do this. Same way. We're probably good right there. All right. We're going to mix that in and start boiling it down. And we're going to take care of this, right? That's it, bro. Pour some water in that bag. And I got it. Well, we, we probably can cook this water out a little bit. And then, and then we're going to put it down. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of meat in there. I hope we hungry, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. We're going to feed the whole station. That's right. Oh, we're going to feed more than that. <laughs> I'm telling you. When they hear about it, they show up. Oh, yeah. Sure. So we can cover it up, get it, get it real good and hot. Ball that, ball, ball that water out of there. Cook that down. Mm -hmm. Yo, and do it again. And just so keep, listen, keep, a lot of times people do that, and people ask me about that a lot on my mm -hmm. show. Like, man, do you do you keep do you keep cooking it down? And sometimes I do. Sometimes we press for time. And sometimes we don't. Yeah. Right. But but listen, honestly, the more you cook it down, the more tender it's gonna be. The more flavor you're gonna have out of there, the more thick you gravy you're gonna be. Oh, yeah. So I'm I'm all about that if you have the time. If you got the time, yeah, because it, it does take a few hours. Sure, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. Trying to do it right. And this is a lot of meat. So I say yeah. we, we've been browning meat for an yeah. hour and twenty minutes right now. So yeah, far. yeah. Is it right here? We've been browning meat longer than that. Yeah. We've been browning meat almost two hours. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's what it takes, though. Out. You know, yeah, you absolutely. want to do it right. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to cook for the speed of it, he's cooking for the love of it. That's it, but that's how we do it. Yeah. All right, we're going to get on this cabbage while that's rolling down. Let's do it, bro. All right. All right, listen, let's get this mother cabbage rolling. We got Rusty still stirring the pot over there, cooking stuff down. It looks fantastic. It smells even better than fantastic. It smells phenomenal, right? I right. like that. So uh, first of all, the business, what we want to do is we want to cut some bacon. And listen, when you're buying bacon to make some other cabbage, you got to get the fattiest, bacon you can find because really what we're trying to get out of that is the grease we are going to get the bacon flavor out of that but we're really trying to get as much grease as we can and when we're cooking that uh down that cabbage it's going to cook that cabbage down as we go all right so that's the whole gist of that so hang tight let's get on this uh this bacon right here and if you ever cut bacon that's not cold it's the hardest thing in the world to cut we had this out for a few minutes, so I'm sure it's gonna give me a hard time, even though my knife is pretty sharp. All right. Are we looking, Mama? Man, we're looking good, bro. Just about to start putting the water in the in the bags again. Get all that seasoning out of I'm there. Good with. Start cooking it down some more. All right. You need help with? I'm still on that. Still browning my uh. Oh, you want to hold the bacon? I got some. Oh. All right, come check me out right here. Let's see what we got going. So we got our bacon rolling. You see all this grease that's coming out? That's beautiful. That's exactly what we're looking for. All right, and we're gonna let this cook down all the way. It's gonna almost look like. It's crispy, but when you finish cooking it, it's not. Nice. On a Saturday. All right. While this is cooking, uh, I usually ask my guests. 
tell them just a little bit about yourself. Let, them, let the world know, man. Let the world wide web know about Rustin Matoire, man. man. Other than musician extraordinaire, cook extraordinaire, well, PC man extraordinaire. Uh, I try to try to wear all the hats I can, yeah, man. But that's how we do it. Uh, no, but I mean, I'm Rustin Matoire. I'm born and raised in Lake Charles, Louisiana. You know, Mazzotical musician. I come from a family of, of Creole musicians, you know, whether it be French music or Zydeco or jazz or blues, both of my grandfathers played uh, play music, so I, I grew up around it. Yeah, I got on that plays music too. My great grandfather played music. I try to play music. But, <laughs> anyway. You can keep at it. Yeah, that's it. That's how we do it. All right, yeah. But uh, no, that's what I do. Um, you know, I've, I've been all over the world playing music. That's, that's my passion, that's my love. Um, you know, but another thing I love to do is, is cook for the family at the house. That's right, man. That's kind of Listen, what we're doing today. I tell people all the time, when you come to Louisiana and you want to find the best restaurant, I mean, it's not. It's, it's the next door house. neighbor's house, yeah, right? It it's, it's your uncle's house. It's your aunt's house. It's your grandmother's house. That's where the best food in Louisiana is. I promise you that. I think the restaurants are good. Some make it a little more commercialized. But if you really want a true traditional Cajun meal, Creole meal, Stop at somebody's house by my door and tell them you from wherever you yeah, at. Yeah. And they gonna feed you, I promise you. That's kind of how we grow out here. We've done people. that in our family and just met total strangers, took them home and that's my dad, but <laughs> took them home and cooked the gumbo for them and man, we got friends for life. That's it. Listen, man, I did that. I went to, to Florida last year and same thing, man. I, it's, it's amazing how that happens, uh, how you do kind of get friends for life and uh, just through food, believe me. Yep, that. That's just it. through food. Well, look here, my man. I got something for you. You know, I got to give you a little something, something Come on, for man. Uh, being on Captain Kobe's show right that, here. That, that thing, nice, bro. It is beautiful, man. I like that. Yeah. So you're going to look I good on your that. next gig when you're playing with that big Captain Kobe shirt on right there. Boy, that on stage, bro. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. I like it. And that'll work. I appreciate that, man. Exactly. Thank you for having me on the show. This time. It's, it's been a pleasure, bro. I've had a so good time. So look, man, I'm going to tell you, uh, one thing we do around here is a little Cajun word of the day. All right. Um, we just make it up as we go. Sometimes I forget. We get so busy cooking and rolling, I forget. So you got a Cajun word of the day for us? Well, how, how about we do a phrase? I like that. It's kind that. of a phrase I, I live my life by. Took it, Charles, at Kodak. That's right. Everything is good. Everything is good, right? You translate that back, everything is correct. It's, everything it's, it's is traditional, fine. but everything is good. That's kind of how we translate that back over here. It's right. so fantastic. One more time, baby. Took it, Charles, at Kodak. All right, I like awesome. it. All right, everybody. After a lot of labor and love right here, we've been, we've been at this quite a minute, huh? Oh yeah, a little while now. Yeah, but it little takes while. that, it takes that to cook that kind of food right here. So let me show you what we got right here. Come on ahead, let's get a closer look. Let's start with this mother cabbage right here. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so good. Listen, you ain't made this mother cabbage. I got a video on it. Follow that, it'll be just fine. Let me see what Mr. Rusty got right here, man. Working with a little something right here. I here, like man. it, Working I like it. Let's see what this gravy looking like. It's looking right. fantastic, look at that. Look, if that gravy don't sit on top of the rice, you gotta keep cooking it, bro. Bro, I'm ready. That's some thick gravy right I'm there. I'm excited. Oh yeah, that looks good. Smell good. Man, Can't I'm wait to good. eat it. Looks good. I'm about it. Yeah, man. Right, y'all. We gonna make our plate in just a minute. We gonna get at it. Come with it, man. That's a station tradition. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be bashful on camera and not, not put too much. Not put as much rice put as I need. what you gotta put, man. Make it happen. I might get some seconds. I think that's what I'm gonna do. There you go. Go with it. Man. This is me falling off the bone. You know that's good, man. Listen, you know you're going to take that pot home in the zone, man. It's not good. <laughs> that is a good pot, bro. It is a good pot. Man. Pot make all the difference. All the way, man. I'm telling them all the way. Man, that's so good. Yeah, that's the mother cabbage. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, everybody, as you can see, I'm already eating. Man, rusty. Hey, all right, bro. Listen, I got a little word we gotta say all the time. I'm gonna have to give you a phenomenal for this job right here, bro. Phenomenal, absolutely. Listen, y'all, 
I know y'all can't get no sauce dash in Poutine, unless you're from around Louisiana, around Eunice area. But if you ever around, if you from out of state and you're around Captain Kobe, come here in Louisiana, let me know. I'll cook you, I'll cook you this right there. You can call Rusty. Mm -hmm. We'll call Rusty back. We'll make that happen. This, oh, yeah. this dinner is absolutely phenomenal, honestly. It is fantastic. The flavor's out of this world. Man, I don't know if I got to be better myself, to be honest with you. So I'm sorry. Hey, man, you Hey, you got it any time. That's not gonna, it's our first and it won't be our last. Right, I'll make a promise you, man. We're gonna have a good time. So like I always say, hey, listen. Thank you, cook it, watch the video, like the video, and keep cooking and we'll see you in the kitchen.